Okay, so maybe we can just um, get started. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good morning and welcome. My name is Rem Lashinima. I'm a physiotherapist. I'm going to be your moderator for today. Uh, thank you for joining us to this uh, exciting Focus Symposium uh, session. And communicate and demonstrate respect and elicit the best possible health outcomes for my patients and their families was not necessarily taught to me solely in my undergraduate physiotherapy training. I've lost a lot of good, energetic colleagues who've just have burnt out as a result of not being able to be themselves. I need to evaluate for red flags or, or changes in someone's uh, presentation as they go through their, their journey. MRIs, on the other hand, are highly sensitive for metastatic disease, but only in the area that we scan. But interestingly, when you looked at the um, injection of a contrast dye into the, into the heart, they established a PFO. What people said uh, is, first thing, is quality versus quantity. And that rather than a sort of routine um, imaging, it's questioning and expert understanding of red flag symptoms should really be um, the primary um, decision-making process. Uh, you mentioned Kodai Quina syndrome, and I want to know if in the literature or you have experienced yourself a reversible symptoms of Kodai Quina. It makes sense, right? Everyone can access it, it's the great equaliser, but his, his participants said no. And look what happened when he listened. And so I think that's the big struggle as well when you, when you are in disaster, it's, it's overwhelming and you, you do need to make choices and it's really tough. I would like to remember that we should not forget where we come from. Um, the origin of modern rehabilitation was in emergencies. Uh, it was developed as a treatment strategy for polio and war victims. So we have a strong role here to play. Thank you so much.